give thanks unto the Lord, mm. for it is a wonderful day, wonderful time, wonderful event in your life. And it doesn't necessarily, um, it's not conditioned upon what you're going through right now, but it's, it's the assurance to know that the Lord loves us. And so uh, rejoice knowing that if it's not good, now it shall become good. Amen. Welcome to the Spice hey. of Life Variety Show. We are honored to be in your homes. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, we know that your heart will be blessed as you just really sit back and partake, even at, in your home, with us on the show. Uh, I encourage you to grab your paper and your pen, take notes. We're going to give you references. And so make some notations and communicate to us uh, with our email uh, information at the very end, other ways to contact us. We want to hear from you. Bishop Blake. Mrs. Blake, Dr. Barbara McCool Lewis, Pastor Lewis, and the West Angeles family, and to all the saints, we greet you in Jesus' name. I am here with Pamela Webb, my co-host for the Spice of Life variety show. And so Pamela's going to share with us, how are you doing, Pamela? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Dr. I'm Lewis? I'm doing just lovely. When well, you're looking very royal in your purple. I think so. that we are complimenting each other. What do you think? I think we bounce it off pretty okay. well. All right, then. What's going on today? Well, you know, we are truly a Bible-believing show, right? Okay, yes. I mean, we go by strictly the Word of God. Yes. So our audience might think it's a little bit peculiar, <laughs> but they have to realize the source okay. of where we're coming from. Okay. And so today's topic is enjoying a romantic love. Did you say romantic love? Romantic. Whoa, that's deep. Enjoy romantic enjoying. love? You, enjoying. First you said enjoying. Yes. <laughs> and then you said romantic, <laughs> romantic love. love. Whoa. But and it's in the Word of God, and it's for us. Okay, okay. And you know what? And on a serious note, too mm -hmm. too long we have we have pretended as though that it was not. It's not God that God ordained, right? And it's not in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And so we've kicked it to the curb, right? And so while the Lord has given us through His Word how to define love mm -hmm. and romantic love, mm -hmm. because we have been shy with it. We have allowed the world to define how love, how romantic love right. is. And that's why it's all distorted. And that's why we have the misconceptions of it mm -hmm. and, and wrong definitions. Because we are sitting back. We don't talk about that because oh, we're no. too we yeah. sanctified. Please, give me a break. But the Creator said it so. <laughs> and he Amen. gave it as a gift. That's right. So we want to explore that. We are not alone today. We have uh, with us three lovely ladies, three lovely jewels uh, in the body of Christ and of West Angeles Church. Uh, first, here is Angela Griffith. Angela Griffith, welcome, my love, <laughs> home administrator <laughs> and uh, small mother and wife and all of those kind of good mm. uh, roles that you play in your life. Huh? Yeah. Ernestine Brim Brimbury. See, I almost called <laughs> you Brimbury. <laughs> Ernestine Brimbury. Happy to have you. Thank um, you. Certainly no stranger to uh, experiencing mm -hmm. romance. <laughs> And so we want man. you to share with <laughs> us uh, from your uh, Amen. wealth of experience. Okay. Roxy Coleman. Yes. Roxy's good to All see right. you. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it wonderful to know that uh, we have or we are experiencing, Rome, you know, love. Mm -hmm. uh, not love, not love as a sister to a sister, but mm -hmm. in fact that we've been given the green light to experience romantic love. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, we are making a reference to romantic love. First, let's kind of come together on the definition. Well, how would we define romantic love? What would you say romantic love is? I would say it's an intimate type of love um, where you're, you're intimately embrace, embracing someone, someone else. Mm -hmm. And of course in this day and time we do need to wow. clarify um, we're talking about men and mm -hmm. women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we, we need to be real clear yes. in that. Mm -hmm. uh, embracing. Uh, it was it was interesting uh, because of the fact that Webster defines it uh, as responses to the appeal of what is um, I idealized, marked by expressions of love or affection, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. conduces to or suitable for love making. Mm -hmm. So romantic love. Uh, we're talking about, we're also talking about our woman, yeah. our husband mm -hmm. and wife. Right. Husband uh, and we're wife. talking about yeah. love making. <coughs> yes. Yeah. Only. Yes. Only. 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 That's, only. That's, that's married. It's, yes. Only married people. Yeah. Yeah. Only, married. only married people can enjoy what we're talking about yeah. today. Mm -hmm. um, King James, Ephesians 5.25 says, husbands love your wives. 
-hmm. even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. So when we're talking about romantic love in the in the natural sense, we can get a clear illustration of that from the spiritual sense of how Christ has loved the church, how he gave right. his yeah. body, gave himself mm -hmm. unselfishly. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It was sort of, he took the boundaries off of uh, what he would or would not do because he loved he us. Loved and him. so mm -hmm. uh, we get a real clear definition. And may I just please, uh, would someone else want to give your definition or want to join in before I read one more scripture about um, defining romantic love? To me, it's a, it's a, it's a physical and a spiritual hookup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hook yeah, where, where two people, they don't just come together physically. Mm -hmm. Because that's that's a under that's that's mm -hmm. part of marriage. You, mm -hmm. you, that's a given, mm -hmm. but the spiritual part of it is that sends it to that place of romanticness. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Because spiritually, your your hearts are tied. Mm -hmm. You know, you 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 cross each other's T's and and dot the end of sentences mm -hmm. for the other. Mm -hmm. You just spiritually without the spiritual part of it, it's just. It's just like it is for everybody else, for the world. Mm -hmm. it's right. that, that's the difference. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. And of course, we know that uh, non marriage can enjoy, non married man and woman can enjoy um, romance, or but, but certainly there are limits and there oh, are boundaries yes. mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. needs to be respected and also uh, in place so that the maximum potential and the maximum pot potency of mm. the gift that God has given mm -hmm. us uh, the uh, ability and opportunity to love can be experienced mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. once we throw out the ground rules of a game and start creating our own rules, then we have changed what the master or the creator of the game has said. I love playing Scrabble, but if I make, you know, I know we all have our house rules, you know, that yeah. we, mm -hmm. we play various games with, mm -hmm. but if I'm, I'm going to enjoy what the manufacturer had in his mind when he created that game, then I'm going to have to play by his by rules. Yes. But now, if I change it or alter it, then mm -hmm. then I'm I'm creating that that may be fun or, or may be better enjoyed to some degree mm -hmm. in in this environment. Game. But I've I, I've changed the way the original Originator. manufacturer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. ordained it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, let me just read, please, Proverbs five fifteen through twenty one, uh, from the Living Bible. It says, "Drink from your own well, my son. Be faithful and true to your wife." Why should you beget children with women of the street? Why mm -hmm. share your children with those outside your home? Mm -hmm. Let your manhood be a blessing. Rejoice in the wife of your youth. Mm -hmm. Let her mm -hmm. charms and tender embrace satisfy you. Let her love alone fill you with delight. Why delight yourself with prostitutes, <laughs> embracing what isn't yours? For God is closely watching you and he weighs carefully everything you do. And so while we're mm. not here to, 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 to do anything other than just to uh, enjoy and expand on the subject of romantic mm -hmm. love, uh, certainly we know that God will give enlightenment as needed and where needed and right. to whom needed. Mm -hmm. And so this is what we, um, we were talking about. It. Where did original love originate? We just wanted to make sure that we were clear on that. Where did it originate from and from whom? From God, our Father, the Creator. Okay, okay. Between a man and a woman. All right. Can I can I just read some words? Yes, you can. Can I just go to some words? Are you please? burning? Please, please. You probably want to read the one I have. Well, I don't know, <laughs> but I, I just want to go to the Word of God. And, okay. And if people, you know, get your pens and paper, and we can just go along together. Okay. Amen. And so this is in Genesis where it all began. Okay. Yep. Genesis two, chapter two. Yes. And I think I want to go to verse, I think it was 18. 18. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says, And the Lord said, It is not good that man should be alone. Mm -hmm. I will make him a helper comparable to him. Mm -hmm. And then in verse 19 it says, and I'm going to skip down, and it says, And, what, and whatever Adam called each living creature, that was his name. But right before that, okay, so then Adam gave names to all of the cattle, to the birds of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helper comparable to him. Mm -hmm. Verse 21, and the Lord said, and the Lord caused the deep sleep to fall on Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in its place. 
Verse 22, then the rib which the Lord had taken from man, he made into a woman, mm -hmm. and he brought her to the man. Verse 23, and Adam said, now this is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Verse 24, therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh. One flesh. So yeah. God ordained marriage. Okay. between a man and a woman. Okay. Two people to be compatible uh -huh. with, to uh -huh. compatible together. Uh -huh. To enhance to, to invoke, yes, mm -hmm. to be devoted to one another, mm -hmm. to have that mutual mm -hmm. understanding. Mm -hmm. Well, I know you read from Genesis. Another book that we want to incorporate in this into uh, our topic is the Song of Solomon. Mm -hmm. And uh, certainly, uh, you're talking about a, a, a book of romance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If we don't know how to romance someone, uh, romance your spouse or romance that special one, mm -hmm. uh, then certainly the book of Solomon, uh, the Song of Solomon, yes. would be mm -hmm. a wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, tool of instruction. Yeah. And so this is what we're going to share with you uh, for the remainder of our, our time together from the book Song of Solomon, chapter 7, 10 through the 12th verses, and chapter 8, 6 through the 7th verses. And so Angela, of course uh, we are just sort of peeking in on the life of King Solomon and, and the daughter of Pharaoh uh, as they <laughs> fell uh, first saw each other, fell in love, and just mm -hmm. walked through that whole uh, path and journey of love and ended up in marriage and et cetera. And so let's just sort of take, take a peek and see what we can learn from uh, chapter 7, verse 10, as you share that with us. Yes. Um, <coughs> excuse me. In chapter 7, verse 10, it says, I am my beloved, and his desire is toward me. This is a, a wife being excited about her husband's passion for her. Mm -hmm. um, she, she lovingly called him beloved. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, when, when, you're, when you're married, you, when you're passionate about your husband and your love for your husband, you'll, you'll come up with a little nickname. Little pet names. Little pet names for mm -hmm. him. But that beloved says to me that I feel loved by him. Mm -hmm. I be loved <laughs> by this man. Uh -huh. And um, then she said his desire is towards me. Mm -hmm. And um, when, when God connects a man and a woman together as husband and wife, there's a, a, a natural desire that's there. Of course. And you want that desire to stay there. Uh -huh. You don't want that desire to go. And as women, sometimes we, we hide that desire by being mothers, mm -hmm. by being busy. That's just it. Just by being busy, by not um, tending to ourselves, mm -hmm. by not um, remaining in the, the, the vision and the sight and the, the um, aroma, the, the caretaking that we, we had when we were first loves mm -hmm. with our mm -hmm. with our husbands mm -hmm. and sometimes the husbands do the same thing but we want our husbands to desire after us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we want our husbands to see us the way they saw us the very first time they mm -hmm. laid eyes on us and, and said wow mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly wow I, I i know my husband um i've been married now for seven years um but i was with i've been with my husband for 11 years mm -hmm. um and when my, when my husband and I first started dating, there was a song um, called Come and Talk to Me. And he used to sing that song. And it was the song oh. was that I see you across the room. <laughs> and I want to just come over here and talk to me. You know? And so there was a desire, but there was something that he saw. In you know? uh -huh. And so as husband and wife, when, when he walks through the door, I want him to see that mm -hmm. same, I want that desire exactly. to, to be there. Yeah. Exactly. Come on, come on over mm -hmm. here and talk exactly. to me. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, uh, when I walk through the door, mm -hmm. we want that desire to, to remain there. Mm -hmm. And that's what we see here in, in, in this, this verse, that, um, that they're enjoying this romantic love through the desire for, between a husband and, and a wife, wife. Mm. and the intimacy between a husband and a wife. Let me just throw out to, um, for us to discuss, how do we, uh, keep that desire burning between us and our spouse or us and the special one. What kindles the fire to mm -hmm. remain burning? 
Mm. Mm. Or if you, you know, or, or, well, yeah, we can look at it that way, or else you can also address it else to what would not keep it from burning. Mm. You know? Well, I, I think what keeps it, what keeps romance in, in, in a relationship is creativity, mm -hmm. you know, um, being, being sexy, mm -hmm. even in God, you yes, know, right. more so, mm -hmm. more so in, yeah. than, than, being you sexy, know, yeah, yeah. being mm -hmm. sexy, mm -hmm. keeping your, keeping, smelling, smelling right. fantastic yeah. all the time, yes. Yes. and, and looking your very best, mm -hmm. yes. you, that, that keeps the romance, mm -hmm. that the things that you did to get him, catch. Right. you mm -hmm. have to do those same things, mm -hmm. and then some, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. now you've got <laughs> other things in the relationship, right? Mm -hmm. right. So w you might as well say you got to do twice as much mm -hmm. to keep him. Mm -hmm. But always go back to that thing that she just Angela was just referencing. What what got his eye in the first, first place? place. Mm -hmm. You know what got his eye? Mm -hmm. Keeping it, mm -hmm. you know, and and whispering, writing him notes. Yeah, there you exactly. go. Mm -hmm. Writing right. notes, yeah, practical notes. thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Dating. You yes. gotta date when yeah. you're in a right. marriage. Exactly. You know, say, well, Amen. We're married. You know, no, you gotta you gotta set aside something that says it has nothing to do with house, mm -hmm. nothing to do with work, nothing mm -hmm. to do with children. Mm -hmm. This is just me and you mm -hmm. on our time. Mm -hmm. And then that just that that keeps it the world calls it hot. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think it means communication. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You need to know what each other desires. Yes. 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 And so you have to keep that door open exactly. to communicate. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And, 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 and communicate in such a way to where you can be sassy yeah. and be a little spicy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We're talking <laughs> about, we're talking about <laughs> our romantic love. We're not talking mm. about sister to sister. We're not talking about brother to brother. And we're it's from mm. death do us part. You know, so you have so to keep you excitement. Keep it. Right. Excited. You want to keep the fire burning. Yeah. Oh goodness. Yeah. You have to. Sh you have to share in each other's interests mm -hmm. mm -hmm. to make to really make it work. Because first of all, where one is, the other one might, might not, not be. be. Mm -hmm. So if you if you start sharing each other's goals mm -hmm. and sharing each other's interests mm -hmm. and things that you thought that you wouldn't be interested in, you can now become interested mm -hmm. in them because you you know now you're sharing and you're doing this together. You don't want to just it's always one way. I know my husband loves going to the movies and he just gets excited when I say, "Well, honey, I think we ought to go to the movies mm -hmm. today." Well, that's the, that's that's something he enjoys mm -hmm. just sitting there watching a movie. Mm -hmm. And it may not, you know, it may not always be feasible, but you know, sometimes I ask him about going to the movies and he'll go up to Blockbuster and get oh, uh, just uh, four or five movies and I'm like I know we're not going to watch all these tonight <laughs> but the fact of the matter is that he's excited mm -hmm. because I'm doing sharing right. something mm -hmm. with him that he likes mm -hmm. and it doesn't always have to be something that you got to spend a million dollars exactly. for. Right. It doesn't have you know um, my husband time. loves uh, reading sometimes and I got I have a calligraphy pen and he went out and bought a book for me just a journal and and uh, it you know and I said for him to have taken a interest uh, that was mm -hmm. a special interest because yeah. he never paid anybody's mm -hmm. penmanship any attention until now and now he's getting to the point where he's becoming a critic well oh. they didn't curve that just <laughs> right you know and, and, and mm -hmm. he's never taken a class but it's just the fact that he's interested mm -hmm. in me because doing because something you, and mm -hmm. now for little small things that I do with hobbies he's taking an interest in my hobbies and he's helping me to perfect it Whereas one time I didn't have someone over my shoulder saying, oh, well, if you do it just a little bit to the left or a little bit to mm -hmm. the And that helps me to excel. It's not just me having an interest in a hobby. He now has an interest in a hobby as well. It's very important that um, we, we do share mm -hmm. each other's um, likes and dislikes. One thing that uh, wasn't necessarily in place when I got married uh, many, many years ago was the premarital counseling. Mm -hmm. Now, in my opinion, mm -hmm. I, if it's er everything of what I have heard of it being, it should be mandated for everyone. Mm -hmm. sure. Because you, you find, find out things out. that mm -hmm. you would not, no, not, not right. know no. until later on right. after you say I do. Mm -hmm. See, the whole idea is to, is to learn everything or, or, or to at least be so equipped or so knowledgeable to, to see whether or not you want to say yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And so we mm -hmm. should have an idea. We should know each other before we cross mm -hmm. over. Yes. And in order to keep the romance in the relationship, 
that we have to be on the same page. Right. You know, mm -hmm. I can't That's be right. on Z and he's on A That's right. because there's no romance. Number, number one, mm -hmm. we, we don't like each other. Right. Mm -hmm. And so being romantic means that we share those moments. And like he was saying, Ernie, it's not because, you know, we're talking about spending a whole lot of money. For, for some people, some pe you know, some people, you have to romance them with hundreds of dollars mm -hmm. per shot. Well, I don't have anything to say about that because if that's your thing, do your thing. But I'm talking about romantic love can be developed in a simplified fashion. Mm -hmm. Just merely, like you said, watching a movie together mm -hmm. or right. just a, uh, taking an interest in what, you know, what how you you're, you're writing. writing. Like. Mm -hmm. Just what you like. Mm -hmm. Keeping the romance. And then as we keep our attention on each other, it'll keep the eyes from wondering. Yes. Because it's also important that the woman feels secure in the relationship. Yes. It's also important that the man understands that even though um, that there are going to be other women that are, and men too that's mm -hmm. going to try to get their attention, but mm -hmm. they have to be so focused yes. in the relationship that they see everybody, you know, everybody else is around them, but it's totally. only them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so in order to keep the romance in the relationship, the woman has to feel secure because no decent person wants to feel as though that that he or she is one of the, uh, of, uh, of a many. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I say, of many. I would think complimenting would be an asset. Oh, of and, course. Uh, in a romantic relationship because even though some men don't do a lot of talking I'm married to a man that doesn't do a lot of talking he really enjoys when I tell him well honey you look nice today yeah right. you know mm -hmm. you there's nobody that can do what you can do in the um, occupation that you have and that edifies him and even if I don't have a big gift for him today um, he is very happy when I tell him, I don't think nobody in the world can cut hair the way you do, honey. There's a million mm -hmm. barbers out there, but you know, you uh -huh. are the best one. And of course, I married the best. Mm -hmm. And that helps him a lot through his day. I mean, nobody has a perfect day at work every day. But it helps him through his day to think, okay, I'm, I'm the best barber in town. No matter whatever. It's nothing like when the person that you love edifies you. Of mm -hmm. course. Of it's course. like it's when life. you you know it's it's like if I get that seal of approval from the one I love, it's ooh, all honey. It's, it's all. all. <laughs> and that's what we need. Mm -hmm. We need to be validated. Right. I don't care how tough the person tries to be. I don't care how powerful or what, what type of position a person is to be in. A person needs to, like you said, be complimented. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I, I need to feel good about, you know, the attempt that I have made. You know, your husband being a barber, he's done his very best. Mm -hmm. You know, or, or he looked his best or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. We just need to learn how to compliment and, and not have to worry <coughs> about, well, are you going to compliment me, be, me back? No. Mm -mm. You know, I'll do my 50, you do but your you 50. Mm -hmm. a, a healthy relationship or a healthy romantic love affair is not me doing 50%, you doing 50%. Mm -hmm. It is us doing 100%, 100 mm -hmm. coming in and saying, look, here is love from me in the way that I can give. And I need to find out about from you what kind of love uh, is satisfying to you. And that's another thing we need to talk about, too, <laughs> is the fact that uh, we, need to, we need to make sure that what we're doing is enjoyable mm -hmm. By the person that's mm -hmm. receiving yes, it. Yes, mm -hmm. most definitely. Yeah. We need to let, yes. we need to yes. let the receiver. Right. So, yeah. That mutual, yes. yeah. Yeah, let, let mm -hmm. the receiver define mm -hmm. what makes them happy. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, just, I like to just get in the car and take a little short ride, you know, maybe, you know, an hour or so, mm -hmm. just riding with the one that you love. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I know I'm becoming excited because of the fact that my children are growing up. And so uh, I'm, and so I'm entering to that second stage of life now to where. Uh, we need to understand that things change. Mm -hmm. And so uh, enjoying romantic love, in a nutshell, Roxy would be what? Ah. If you had to give it in a nutshell. It would be the small, it would be the small, the small things that, that he's mindful of. That's true intimacy to me. You're mindful of the little bitty things. Mm -hmm. It like you all have said, it doesn't take money. It just takes time. Mm -hmm. Your most valuable thing you have is your time. Mm -hmm. yes. And when you take time to say, baby, you do whatever the list is, mm -hmm. that's valuable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what you see mm -hmm. when your mate turns around and you look at the, you see the shoulders and you mm -hmm. say, Sexy. Uh -huh. That's mm -hmm. because of the time that they take. Exactly. The little time, that's intimacy. Is is 
you're concerned about me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're interested in me. Right. And then I'm not worried about whether or not you're interested or concerned about somebody mm -hmm. else. Never comes in my mind mm -hmm. because you've you so much into me, to me. Yeah. yes, mm -hmm. and I'm so much into you. I have you. no time. Mm -hmm. I have no time to be concerned mm -hmm. about what, what I, you look. Look all you want. I know you're not going nowhere. Mm -hmm. How we talk uh, is important. How we speak, you know, you can't uh, calling the person any kind of name and talking mm -hmm. any kind of way no. is not conducive to to really promoting and and um, creating romantic love. Mm -hmm. And so we need to be mindful of how we talk and. Uh, the tone that we talk yes. in and what we say. Amen. We can't just say your stupid Amen. thing. And we know we, we really need to romance with our words, with our actions, with our uh, thoughts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let our thoughts be turned toward our mate. Yeah. My, it just seemed like this show just went I so know. quickly. Yes, <laughs> yes. We didn't even get into it. Uh -uh. But we want to challenge you <laughs> to, um, to turn to Song, Sol Song Sol of Solomon mm -hmm. and read through that and just really ask God to. Um, Reflect into your spirit, into your mind, what he will have you to uh, apply to your relationships. Yes. Know that we endorse loving romantically. Mm -hmm. Go out for dinner, go for a snack, share a pie, yes. you know, <laughs> share a cup of ice, you know, <laughs> whatever the case with may one be. One pie with one fork. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Feed do some crazy another. things, yes. you know, in that shape. regard, mm -hmm. to bring the love back or to keep the fire burning. Mm -hmm. yes, because exactly. we're not saying that the fire has gone out. For some of you, fire never go out. Mm -hmm. But we just need to uh, communicate to you that uh, we serve a God who is the God of love. Mm -hmm. And not only is he spiritually uh, interested in us, he's also concerned in our earthly relationships, our physical relationships, mm -hmm. but just make sure we play the w in the game the way that the originator yes. created the, um, mm -hmm. the rules. And that is that if you're married, don't commit adultery, don't play around. That means that if you're not married, don't play around. Yeah, mm -hmm. that get means married. <laughs> until you get <laughs> married. Mm -hmm. And that also means that um, seek God and ask Him to enhance the relationship. Watch how you talk, take the time to be kind, and until next time, God bless you, and we love you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Romantic love. How, Romantic you, love. how you talk is important. How you communicate is important.